WWE Crown Jewel 2018 in Jeopardy? Welcome back to the ACB Wrestling Talk channel, your main source for wrestling news, topics, discussion, previews, all that kind of good stuff. I am your host, Alexis Carrillo, and quite a bit of controversy has resulted from WWE's recent business deals with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to, per to put together shows in that country. A lot of fans on social media have been angry, upset over the fact that WWE is doing business with a country that uh, doesn't give uh, women the same rights as men. They don't treat women uh, equally as men. And thus, these fans, these uh, uh, group of people who have voiced their displeasure towards this entire deal have, you know, made that made their point clear. They don't want WWE doing business with that country. And the thing that I understand from this, the thing that I interpret from this entire situation is that WWE is a business company company it is a publicly traded company meaning that yes there is a chairman of the board in Vince McMahon but he is not he does not control the entire operation he is not the king he is not the ruler of the entire operation and every decision he makes has to go through to the board of directors with that said it is very hard for anyone for Vince McMahon for Triple H, for Stephanie McMahon, for anyone, you name it, to walk up to the board of directors, to walk into that board meeting and present a $450 million deal over the next 10 years, which that's that was what, what was reported to be the deal, to present them, to present that offer to those people to that to the board meeting and ask them and plead to them to deny it because at the end of it it's a business deal and that's big business being done so as far as that I don't really blame anyone any one person any singular person on this entire situation as far as the moral compass that they've decided to take I will, I will uh, admit it is very hypocritical to have this entire woman's evolution, woman's revolution, whatever you want to call it, and then have and go do events in a country that doesn't treat women equally as men. I will admit it. It is very hypocritical on their part. But again, going back to my point, it is very hard to... Uh, reject that offer and number two you can't go as a business as, as a person as anything you can't go into a, a, another country and expect them to change their culture just for you you can't expect them to do that it would be foolish of you to expect them to do that so I just wanted to point that out because a lot of fans are criticizing the fact that Saudi Arabia doesn't treat women uh, in the same way as men. And as far as I don't agree with that any more than, uh, than the next guy, you know, I, I want them to treat women uh, equally to men. I want, I want that to be the case for every country in the world, but that is not in my power, that is not in our power. And it would be foolish of us to expect other countries to make that kind of decision based on anything other than their own country's well-being. So I just wanted to point that out. So it's pretty much a big decision that had to be made, a big offer, big moral compass uh, in the balance. They made, the, they made their decision, that's that. As far as the alleged 
apparent disappearance of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Uh, all I'm going to say is nothing's been confirmed, nothing's been denied, nothing has been proven. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, that's all I'm going to comment on that right now. So I'm not going to really comment on that because I don't really have a lot of knowledge on that situation. If it is true, then it's just terrible. It is off-putting. It is scary as hell to think that things like that would happen. But, you know, it's still... This entire situation is still pending. And I don't really want to delve into this situation in terms of commenting on it. Because, like I said, I'm not fully in tune with the whole entire politics of the situation. All I'm going to point out is that it is scary as hell and it is disturbing and very saddening to think that this happens or that this could happen. Just putting it out there. So moving on from that unfortunate situation, a lot of uh, fans are calling pretty much demanding that WWE cancel their agreement with the Saudi Arabian go government to put shows in the country of Saudi Arabia, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Two things I have to, well, two things I have to say about this. Number one, there, you know, there are reports that the wrestlers don't want to go to Saudi Arabia, they don't want to perform. Due to recent due to recent uh, news revolving around this entire situation, as far as that as far as that is concerned, wrestlers are contracted to WWE. They are legally binded to to whatever WWE asks them to do. And anyone who's ever signed a contract, especially a long term contract, knows that. You can't just break off an agreement and not expect consequences. So, they work for WWE. They have to fulfill their responsibilities as wrestlers. Now, as a human being and as a, you know, as part, as a worker myself, I do find it that you should do what you want to do. You should not do what you don't want to do. I I believe that. But at the end of the day, the contracts are valid. And if you uh, don't fulfill your responsibilities, the most likely uh, outcome that will happen is that you will not only be fired, but you will have legal uh consequences taken against you whether that be in a lawsuit or whatever and again on that point WWE really has to analyze their own contract with the Saudi Arabian government on if they can cancel that agreement right now because there are certain clauses now I'm not pretending to be a lawyer I'm just trying to use common sense I'm just trying to be logical in this whole situation they've signed a 10-year deal 450 million dollars and they've done one event the greatest Royal Rumble and they are having the crown jewel in on November 2nd we have to look at the clauses how much is it gonna cost from both parties to cancel this event if that is indeed what they want to do and like I said if WWE chooses unilaterally to not fulfill the responsibilities to this agreement legal actions will be taken against them because that's how contracts work so all in all I think I do believe right now WWE's lawyers and attorneys are looking over the contract probably looking for a way out if that is what they want to do so it isn't as easy as oh fans are saying you know cancel the agreement you know, it, it's all in the hands of Vince McMahon to cancel that agreement. No. The contract is in place to protect both parties. It's going to be a long, long, long 
assessment of the whole situation of the whole contract to be able to cancel that contract again if that is what WWE wants to do so a lot of controversy a lot of uh, things that are going to be happening over the next couple of weeks we will find out via Raw via Smackdown whether or not they are go going through with Crown Jewel or you know we'll find that out later today tomorrow night on Smackdown Live so I'll just keep my ear and my eyes to this whole situation and I'll try to provide you with updates on anything that might go down with this whole crown jewel controversy going on in the wrestling world. So those are my thoughts on this whole situation. Those are my opinions. That's how I view it. That's how I perceive it. And that's how I interpret it. You might have a different opinion and I accept it and I respect it. Leave your thoughts on the comment section below. If you follow wrestling news, topics, discussion, previews, all that kind of good stuff, consider subscribing. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. That's it for me. Till next time.